Hey, real quick for a video again, um, you're actually a very funny animation I did of me and my friend laughing our gosh darn butts off. If you want to skip to the main point of the video, just go here. Okay, bye. Enjoy enjoy funny clip. Be a bedtime. You have a That's bedtime? A yeah. Cringe. I know. Well, it makes you feel I better. I also have a bedtime. Yeah. Yay, bedtime bros. <laughs> bedtime bros. <laughs> bedtime bros. <laughs> That's so stupid. Hey there, fellow Veloid gamers, and uh, welcome. Today, I'm gonna be showing you, like, every website, every floppy disk cheat, every ring, and so much more. Um, if you wanna know what's what, there'll be some timestamps right here, maybe, who knows? Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna get right into it, starting off with, uh, every single website, so, uh, whippee! Alrighty, so, first, we have, you know, Voom, that's pretty cool. Next, we have Vintage Floppy Disk Cheats. Here, you can, um, get Knuckle Sandwich for 10 bucks. Y2K Crash for 20. Yoinkie Tuckums for 120. And Orbital Strike for 200. Let's just go. Pretty cool. Next, we have, uh, Boss Cheats. Um, you can unlock these by defeating, like, certain bosses in the game. Like, Munchies for 120. Bion Tau or Toll for 80. Trial Trouble for 240 and Silver and Smite for uh, 240. Pretty awesome, Shosh. Next, we have Bobber Jr. Monch. Let's uh, give him some money. Kaching, kaching, kaching. Awesome, Shosh. Um, let's see. Next, we have Utility Cheats. Um, here you can get a uh, Finger Swipe for uh, 75. Pretty cool. Let's see. Here. Next, we have uh, Spontaneous Boy Spoilers. Hey, wait. Hey, that's me. Wait, so then. Who are you? I know you're there. Anyways, let's get right back to it, folks. Uh, let's see here. Next, we have Run. That's pretty cool. Next, we have Wipe. That's. Yeah, I better be careful. Next, we have... Alright, anyways, next we have... Buy... Gert Rude a coffee. I've already bombed some coffee since he loves me and he, he can't save no more, mo no more money. That is awesome, Josh. Next, we have Kalam Pictures. Uh, you might remember this from the old... Uh, the boy, not like the old, old one, but like the old one. So we have number 10. Number 9. Number eight, number seven, number six, number five, number four, number three, number two, number one, being Lord Game. Awesome sauce. And then our last one here is B site, I believe. So let's. Is this a B? Obviously. What do you mean it's wrong? That's, that's clearly a B. Is this a B? Yes. Was that painting inspired from Lord Game? Is this a no. What do you mean that's wrong? No. Alright, uh, next I'm gonna show you every ring in the game, but I'm gonna keep doing this. Yes. What do you mean? Is this a bee? No. Come on! Stupid computer breaking on me. Um, e oh, uh, hey there, guys. Uh, next I will be showing you every ring in the game. So, in total, there is seven. That's pretty awesome sauce. So, um, I'm just gonna go through each ring one at a time. Uh, that's, you know, pretty cool. Um, so first we're gonna start off with Moon Ring. Um, uh, Moon Ring gives you moon growth, but minus one finger. I really don't know what that means. So, we're gonna show you what that's like in, uh, battle. So let's fight Brawler Bart. Yeah, um... Oh, right, I remember this does. Okay, so... Here's what the ring does. Um, basically, if the enemy were to attack you, so let's so let's let him attack me. 
So basically, if he attacks you with this ring, um, he will be taking damage himself. That is pretty awesome sauce. Um, let's go on to the, uh, next ring. Alrighty, uh, next, I'll be showing you the next ring. Let me unclip this. Alright, so next, I'll be showing you the fire ring. And I will be showing you, uh, let's see here. I'll, and I'll be showing you the, uh, Katen ring. So, uh, yeah. Oops, that's the wrong button. Ooh, Stasis. Alright, let me get into battle, and I shall show you it. Alright, so, we are now in battle. So here we have firing. Um, I believe that if you were to attack with this ring, it inflicts fire damage onto the Yep. Look at that, baby. We just inflicted poor damage to this poor, innocent man. Yeah, um, over time, it will burn his hand by 3 damage. Um, honestly, pretty cool. Um, now for the, now for the content ring, it's actually pretty useful. So, let me, um, so yeah, so in order for it to work, we need to die. So, uh, yeah, let me cut to that real quick. Okay, so, I believe now we should be able to get this right. So, if your hand dies with a ring, you'll be able to do damage to him. So, quick math which is four so yeah so basically if you use the ring and if it dies you can pretty much um do a whole lot of damage um honestly pretty broken ring in my opinion i really don't know how that's even fair but uh yeah let's get on to the uh, next two rings all right so next we have the uh the thor ring and we have the pillar ring so the thor ring basically gives you five plus more damage and the pillar ring gives you uh regeneration over time so like i said again we're gonna you know go into battle and oh, and we're gonna show you so so let's show thor first so usually um a regular attack from you does about like 20 damage but with the thor ring you can do um more damage than um what you were doing before yeah, um, next I'll be showing you what the, uh, pillar ring does. So, with the pillar ring, um, I believe if you take damage with the ring in hand, so, he oh, that's the wrong, <sighs> come on, dude, you're supposed to attack this hand. Alright, hang on, boom, 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 okay, now then, please attack the hand so I can show the, the, the viewers what it does. No, that's... Okay, I'm sorry, guys. He's being a bit of a douchebag. Alright, down, up, right. Okay. Now, then, please attack my hand so I can show them what it does. So, he attacks with the ring in hand, but you get one finger back for every turn that goes by. So, basically, if one of your fingers with the hand with the pillar ring... What am I saying? Okay, so, basically... If you have the pillar ring in hand, every time when you and the enemy go, it will regenerate one finger back, no matter what. Uh, yeah, another pretty cool ring. Ring. I need I need to fix my grammar. Anyways, let's go on to the uh, next rings. Okay then, now we have our, our final two rings. We have the ice ring, and we have the fuming ring. Eh. Alrighty, so, ice ring. It's basically like the fire ring, but except this time, I believe it frees the enemy. Fuming ring? I do not even know. So, we're gonna go into it blind. Uh, let's see. We're gonna fight... Let's... Let's fight... Hmm... I feel like fighting... Salary Man Jacob. He seems promising. So, basically, with the ice ring... Um... Basically, it will freeze the enemy, I believe. So we do that, and then we'll bam. It freezes the enemy. Pretty cool. Um, I don't know what's happening now. Um, but yeah, I guess that's what happens. Uh, pretty weird, but uh, yeah. We're gonna now be showing you what the uh, female ring does or something. I don't know, dude. Okay, so after some testing, um... The female ring is kind of weird. Um, so I believe you do 
Oh. Okay, interesting. So, I believe the fuming ring is... It's kind of like poison, I think. So, like, over time, like, like fumes will be like... It can either go to you or the enemy, I believe. I don't know. It, it's kind of a weird ring. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like poison. It does five damage over time. But yeah, um, I guess, I guess it's somewhat helpful. Um, I will say though, it might be one of the worst rings in, in the game since it does, like, attack you. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that's basically all of the rings in the, in the game for now. Um, next, I will be showing you every single what was that yeah i'll be showing you every single floppy disk cheat now so let's get right into it Alrighty, so next i will be showing you all of the floppy disk cheats um first we're gonna be doing let's see here knuckle sandwich and munchies so let's do let's do knuckle sandwich knuckle sandwich eh 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 so we do a little bit of a cool little punch thingy um I believe it's just something that allows you to do 30 damage to a hand. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, next we have munchies. So to do this, you gotta just fill up all the teeth. Well, bam! And then you take a big chunk out of their fingers. Right, let's do that. Do that. Awesome. Also, make sure to be careful when using cheats because you can kind of explode your computer. Alrighty, let's move on to the next two floppy disk. Alrighty, so next we'll be doing Thyme Towel in a finger swipe. So first, let's do Thyme Towel. Let's do it on this hand. Timing. Alright, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> no! Gosh darn it. Alright, hang on, guys. I got this. Let me try again. Alright. Here we go. Alright, Thyme Towel. Here we go. Here we go. Bam! Whoa! Oh, okay. So basically, with with Diamond Tal, um, if you're if you're able to time it correctly, um, you're able to do ten damage to the hand, and you'll be able to get your turn back. Which means technically, you can keep repeating this process for. Oh wow, that actually might be broken. Anyways, uh, next we have finger swap. Now then, for this, um, I'm gonna need to damage myself a little bit, so... Okay, so, after a little bit of experimenting, I finally figured out what, sweet, what uh, finger swap does, right? Okay, so, basically what it does is, let's say you get attacked by, uh, this dude. He is very evil, as you can see here, with his little hands, right? So, basically... If you have finger swap or the or the cheat in this hand right here, let's just say that. Um, basically, what you can do is you can activate the ability, do quick math. Let's say three plus one, which would be four. So then, what you can do is you're able to take uh, to your fingers, and then you're able to give that to um, your other hand. But in that process, though. Um, your two fingers before they become, um, dead fingers. So, basically what it is, is pretty much, you can give fingers to your other hand if, you know. It's kind of hard to explain, but, uh, hopefully that, um, sums it up well. Um, let's go on to the, uh, next two. Okay, so, next we're going to be doing Trout Trouble and Soul Regen Smite. So... Let's do Soul Ridge and Smite. A line. I'm good at this. Alright, let's see what it does. Whoa! Okay, that is pretty awesome, Josh. What? Wow, that actually did... Dang, that, that actually did kind of lot. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, dang. That actually did count a lot. I was expecting it to do like uh, three damage, like um, like um, the laser thingy, but no. Wow. Okay then. That could actually also be a pretty good thingy. Um, next we're gonna. Oh, sorry. Uh, next I'll see trial trouble, but I gotta get that heat down. So okay. 
I gotta work down. So let's see what this thing does. Balance. Oh god. Oh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Shoot. Um. I mean, I guess I could try explaining what it does. Mm, here, um, let me try it one more time. This is like the most hardest. Mi no, I can't do. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. Here, let's here let's do it on on the um on the drawing board. Shoot. Shoot. All right. I'm gonna do it on the drawing board. Hang on. Okay, so basically here's what the ability does, I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. So basically, if you can somehow get that mini game to work, basically you summon in a gigantic brick wall, right? Then what you do is you say hi ya. You throw it on him. And what this does is I believe it can do up to about two so Wait, what? So, sorry. So basically what I believe it does, it can do two... So, what am I saying? I'm sorry. Okay. Basically, you throw... So, you know, this thing. You throw it at it, or whatever, and it gives... It gives... <sighs> okay, so, um, I'm gonna be showing you what would happen if you do get to work. Honestly, if you somehow get that mini game to work, um, congrats to you, honestly. So basically, what you do is, if you can, again, somehow pull it off, you summon a brick wall, which you throw at the dude, which does, I believe, two to three fingers on each hand. Um, it can be pretty useful if you're, if you're, like, super good with the, um, gee, I don't know, the, the gosh darn mini, the mini balancing game. It sucks, and it's going in the trash can. You want, I'm, I'm building a trash can right now. Give me one second. All right. We're, oh, no. We're going to put this, this dumb mini game, in the garbage. Eh. Get in there. Eh. Now, now it's a little pebble. All right. Let's go on to the uh, next cheats. All righty. So, next we have Y2K Crash and Yonkini Tonkums. Let's try them out. First, let's do. Let's do Watch Your Key Crash. Calibrate. I'm good at this. Eh, 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 eh. Alright. So, what this does, you throw a little fax machine at them. Pretty funny. And then I think over time it can like electrocute them or something. Pretty cool. Next, we have Yonky Tonkums. Let's try it out. Okay, so. I believe what that does is you take the enemy's fingers on their hand and you and you put the fingers on yourself. I could be wrong, but I think that's what it is. Anyways, we've got one more um, cheat, and it's the last one I've been saving. It's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Alrighty, and here is our very last cheat. Here is Orbital Strike. I think some of y'all know how this goes. Boom, bam, bop, bada, bop, boom, pow. Here we go. Bing. And yeah, that's the ability. You, you can shoot a cool little laser like uh, Goku. It's pretty cool. Um, But yeah, that basically covers all of the websites, the ring abilities, and all the, ch and all the little floppiness cheats. Um, yeah, hopefully this video helps you with um, whatever it helps you with. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for me. Um, but, uh, yeah. As always, have a good old day, drink some water, and stay in school. Bye-bye.